Okay, I don't know if you can top anything that <laughs> Nathan and... Yeah, well, we do, like has been said, we have the CESPA contract we're going to get into starting tomorrow night. That's all the support staff, the power of professionals and monitors, home home monitors and cafeteria monitors and things. We're getting into that. And then we're going to be getting into looking at Hampton Academy in terms of you know, how to reconfigure this school that's been built early 20th century, perhaps. I'm not sure exactly when, but I don't know. I don't think we'll ever be able to turn it into a 21st century situation. But try to reconfigure classrooms and get, get the space needed uh, for various subjects. And, uh, you know, we, we have, you know, we, we, you know, we have gymnasium, <coughs> gymnasiums there that are not legal size. They don't come with showers and toilets. That's a problem. We have uh, presentations on stage that are, that are given that's uh, it's not really a proper forum, I don't think, or venue for presentation, stage shows, and musical. So those are factors that are going to be drivers as far as I'm concerned. I think you might be able to configure you know, the academy to get the classroom space needed. But those, are, those two things I just mentioned uh, might be big stumbling blocks for us. Uh, and we're getting into budgeting, you know, the next, the, the next beginning, for the school year beginning next July 1st. So we're going to be busy over the next month or two or three between the budgeting and the CESPA contract and the reconfiguring Hampton Academy if we can uh, and take care of some of the inherent properties of the building right now. The stairs is really steep. God, when you go from the second floor down to the first floor, those stairs are like this. I don't know how many trips and falls might have occurred, but mm -hmm. I can see that as a big risk. Uh, and the toilets are, you know, there's not a lot of them, and they're narrow. And I don't think we've got toilets that can take handicapped wheelchairs and things like that. So we, we've got a task ahead of us. I think we can get an academy reconfigured to give us the space we need for academics. We don't have to say enter some of the other things I mentioned, toilets and hallways and doorways. But it's going to be this, uh, you know, the lack of a gymnasium of any size. They're not legal size. And having showers and toilets, you know, and, and a, a, a venue for presentations and musicals and stage shows and Christmas plays and so on and so forth. That is where we're going to fall. That's what we're going to have to look at hard. Could I make a comment? Sure. The, um, it's interesting, Jerry, that... <clears throat> Not that many years ago, at the Winnicunnet High School, they had a they addressed the uh, stage issue by building a beautiful auditorium, and as well, they had an issue with their gymnasium, and they built a wonderful new gymnasium. Yeah. So the core of the building, you know, is 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 workable. Yeah. Um, things that can be fixed. Yeah. And so. I think that uh, if it's presented properly, I'm sure the people in Hampton will support it. We're going to work on it, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, I, I'm a very frugal, conservative guy, so I, I'm going to be looking, you know, to get the job done, if you will, and, and bring value to the table, mm -hmm. like we did on the fire stations, mm -hmm. two fire stations, and yep. brand new one at the beach, and completely refurbished one uptown for $5.2 million. That's the way to do business. You know what I mean? Yep. And uh, we really studied those plans, and participated mm. actively with Chief Silver, uh, Chief Silver, if you will, and a Church Street pump station. We got it, you know, in there. Wow, it's a beautiful pump station. <laughs> and we, you know, they, you know, that started off around something five and a half, six million, and and uh, we, we hammered away at it and got it down to four eight, and they brought it in a million, a million less. Mm. Mm. Jerry, how long do they think the process is going to? How long a process, I should ask, period. For the For the Hampton Academy? Yeah. Well, Nate's got a schedule laid out. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it, 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 you know I, I, I forget the exact dates, but he's trying to bring it in so that the first year that the state might get back to, you know, contributing something for new facilities. I don't know if that's 2017 or 2018, I don't know, something like that. 
is when he, he wants to be ready for for if we're ready. He told, he told us 2017. Yeah. I'm going to save a piece of that for new business. Yeah. Not to labor at all. So that's kind of where we are. Okay. We got our table full. Well, the problem is, you know, you end up, the re renovation almost costs as much as putting a new one up. Mm -hmm. We remember when I kind of exited high school, it wasn't that much difference. But I, I, I'm going to tell you, you can't, you build a school, a new school up in Pole Farm Road, you're going to be talking 30 to $40 million. Mm -hmm. Taxpayers are not going to go for that, I don't believe. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have to do the best we can. There are only 15,000 people in this town. Mm -hmm. uh, this is... Average wage is sixty-five thousand. We got a third of our people that are considered seniors. We just we got to we got to keep this an affordable town to live in, as far as I'm concerned. Thank you. And uh, that's what I'm all about. Thank you, Jerry. Yeah.